today we have one more challenge, Grave of Curse, stage 9, with only epic gear and epic heroes, so let's have a look. Hello guys, Wilson Box here, this guide will not just be helpful for the ones playing season 3, but as well for season 1 and season 2, when they start playing this season, season 3, this will be really helpful because they can start farming Grave of Curse stage 9 as soon as possible. And let's have a look at the build I did. I worked a lot on this comp and this is really hard guys, it's really hard to achieve stage 9 without any legendary and with only epic gear, it's really hard. So I really think guys, if you already have any legendary gear, this will be much easier. But this one, it's only, only epic gear. So let's have a look. So we have here, as you guys can see, stage 9. You need at least 220 accuracy. So you need at least good stats. So, and I only have epic gear. And the good, the, and the trick here is really the timings. The timings are the most important thing here. But first, we're going to have a look at the gear. So firstly, we have Garius. Garius is taking two roles here. He's a tank and also a healer. So he's going to be really helpful here. And he's basically full of defense because his healing scales with defense. Okay, defense on the runes, defense on the gear. And I have Mirror of the Living to increase a little bit of the healing because you guys are going to see the damage these guys do. Then I have two really good DPSs. You don't need to use these two, but at least two amazing DPSs. If you have a legendary that does an amazing DPS, then use him. But just don't forget to have at least three of the same element. So then I have Blending with the Highball of the Giant, Attack Percentage, Crit Rate, a normal DPS gear. Then blend, uh, Garrotin, same thing. I'm using the Manticore on her because it increases a lot of damage. Uh, to this character, she's really fast and does an amazing damage. Um, attack percentage crit rate, and I'm using her aura, 30% attack aura, because I really need it. You can also use, he said, if you don't have, if you don't want to use this too, you can also use someone to dispel the shield, but this works as well this way. Then the really important ones, I have Finra, Finra, at least 200, 220 accuracy. To dispel those debuffs, so he's going to be the dispeller, he's going to dispel two buffs. So he's, this character is going to dispel this, those debuffs every turn. And then we have Clovis. Clovis is going to uh, afflict, is going to apply a defense penalty. And is going to do as well some attack penalty because we really need to. Especially if we are not using a defense aura. So this is all that you need to do this, and especially the timings. This was what I've been fighting <laughs> for too long. So guys, we reduce energy by 20%. So this gives to all the other characters enough time to cast their skills, because this way this guy is not going to take any more 18 seconds. It's going to take a little bit more. So for Garius, I have 20.5, because I want him to cast his healing at the... At the after the first cycle of this boss, so the boss is going to cast this, 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 and then I want Garrus to will all the team full HP. And then 20, 20 second, seconds is a, a really good timing for a skill casting interval. Then for Fingra, you can leave this one on default because it's 11.2. This guy starts doing this at 6 seconds, is this one, so this is more than enough. And then 19.5, it's a good timing to uh, for the interval. And lastly, and the most important, that you really need the exact timing, and this is, is the one, 19.1. With this timing, the um, Clovis is going to inflict this defense penalty or attack penalty always between 6 and 12, always, always, all over the fight. It's go going to be always around this, this place, not going to be over or before, it's not going to delay, it's, it's always going to be on time. And basically, this is it, guys. This is it. This is the timings. This is the most important thing, especially for Clovis. If you are using someone else with 20% reducing ultimate energy, then you guys already know 19.1. It's the skill casting interval that is going to work for you. And yeah, this is it, guys. Let's just have a quick look at the highlights of the fight. And then we talk after this. So guys, first round, 
the one I said is the most important one, as you guys can see. Garius is not going to use the ultimate right now. Uh, it's going to use after the boss use the ultimate because that's the best timing for him to heal everyone. So it used the ultimate, as you guys can see, the damage is insane and he heals everyone back. After this, it's always the same. Then we have Curtin doing some damage and Finra uh, dispelling as well all the buffs. And this will be the fight until the end. And guys, this is it. 4 minutes and point point 44. It's not the best timing. I did already 4.28 with exactly the same theme. If you already have some legendaries, then this will be perfect. It will help you a lot to do this faster. With some more DPS and better gear will be easier for you. And this way you can start farming legendary gear. As you guys can see, I already dropped one piece of legendary gear. So this build, it's really helpful if you are just starting season 2 and you don't have any legendary gear and you want to farm, to farm some of this gear, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Make sure you use it because it's going to help you a lot to farm this legendary gear, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave that like and subscribe and see you next time.